Hello everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews and today we are doing something different. We are not just reviewing a beer, we are making a cocktail. We are making a beer cocktail, we are making, apparently what's called, a beer tail. We are making a New York style snake bite. Hi there, so I was growing up in the 80s, I did a lot of my drinking when I was younger in the 80s. Uh, pubs and parties and one thing you couldn't get away from when I was young, young and growing up were snake bites, the roller rage. I think it's because they were quite intoxicating, probably quite different flavour to anything else we had back then. Um, probably a little bit exotic, I don't know what it was. But a mixture of beer and cider or lager and cider, that sort of thing. And we loved them, we couldn't get enough of them. Now I probably haven't drunk a snake bite in 30 odd years and a couple of years ago we went to New York and the first restaurant we went in you could actually get by a beer snake bite so we bought one it was absolutely delicious and a lot of beer a lot of bars and restaurants in New York seem to sell snake bites and speaking to a couple of bartenders they all pretty much followed the same recipe um, across America they do have snake bites but mainly make them out of stout and cider so i was quite surprised that new york were different in the way they made it two common ingredients uh, that we can get here in the uk and it just made the most delicious snake bite and i'm hoping the one i make today is going to taste like the one i had in new york so this is our new york style snake bite uh, first ingredient we're going to add is this any sweet cider will do bulmer's is by far one of the sweetest and one of the best and one of the handiest ciders you can get if i'm being honest any cider will do but the sweeter you can get it american uh, the new york ones used a sweet crisp cider so that's what i wanted to use for this i just want to be as genuine as, as i possibly could to their recipe which is why I've picked Bulmer's for this recipe. That's the first part of this. And the second part of this is a ruby beer. Uh, New York likes their ruby beers. It is um, calls, it gets called ruby, gets called amber, gets called red beers. Um, but they are stronger than stronger in flavour than a traditional English beer. Stronger as well, this is a 4.2% beer. So slightly stronger anyway, but the flavors are, are, are of it are a bit more robust. So when you mix it with the cider, you still get a lot of those lovely, sweet, caramelly flavors come through and it's delicious. New York, uh, Snake Bites use a red beer. So we're gonna use red beer. They say make it. So, in a glass, any glass will do, we're going to pour half of it with our lovely, sweet, sparkling cider. We're also going to pour on top of that our red ale. And to be honest, that's it. That's that simplicity itself. Let's see what we've got. We have got a lovely um, amberish, it's certainly a reddy brown um, snake bite there. It's got a relatively small half finger off white head. There's still a little bit of carbonation green in there. With having cider in there, I reckon that carbonation is going to go on and last for quite a while. Let's go and in there. Let's see what it smells like. Apple. I must say the apple from the side is, is overpowering. It is very cidery, very apple -y. But there is a sweetness coming through, a caramelly sweetness, which must be coming from the beers, from the beer itself. Let's taste it. Cheers, everybody. Really. 
That's very refreshing actually. It's not sweet. The reason why we've, I think they use a really sweet cider is because when you mix that with the beer, it dulls that sweetness a little bit, even though the beer itself is quite sweet and caramelly. That's not as sweet as a really sweet cider. It has dialed it down a little bit. So in the, the mouth, I'm getting that apple flavour. I'm also getting a little bit of that toffee, caramel, earthy flavour from the beer. Joe, you know that's not half bad. That's a different flavour to how, how I remember it when I was younger and growing up. Simply because they didn't use these ingredients. We had the cider, but the beer was different. It was just traditional English beer. So it didn't have much of the flavour of the beer in there. It, so, um, this New York style, you still get, like I say, just, just getting that maltiness through of the beer. And it's just giving it a slightly richer flavour. That is nice. That is actually nice and very refreshing. Summer's day, that's going to be gorgeous. Now, scoring. I'm going to be cheeky. It's my beer. New York's beer. Um, I'm going to score that. Full marks, 10 out of 10. Cheers, everybody.